Sports with Matt Roberts. Hey there, welcome back. Well, the Red Raider baseball team was back on the diamond today, beginning their climb back to the College World Series, hosting the San Francisco Dons. Former Cooper Pirate Ryan Mosley on the mound with the current Cooper baseball team in attendance. Mose looking good here early on, gets a strikeout there to end the first. He would get three strikeouts in his first two innings of work, but runs into some trouble here in the third. It's Nico Giratano there, right back up the middle. That's going to score Kyle Nixon to Don strike first. one nothing. they would get three in the inning. In the bottom of the frame, base is loaded for Tyler Nesloni. Rips this one down the left field line into the corner. That's going to score three, a three RBI double for Nesloni. Tech ties it up at three. Next batter, Eric Gutierrez. He knows what to do with it. Drops it in, a double there into left center. The Red Raiders have the lead at 4-3, a good day for Goot. He goes 2-3 for three with an RBI. Not done yet either as the new guy, Hunter Hargrove, up next. And he goes back-to-back-to-back to back to back RBI doubles as the Red Raiders take the 5-3 lead. At that point, they would get three in the inning to take the 6-3 lead. The Dons are trying to make it tight in the end, but the Red Raiders hold on to start the season 1-0 with a 9-7 win over the Dons. Mosley lasting four innings in up-and-down outing for the former Cooper Pirates. I thought Ryan had really good stuff. Uh, we didn't help him much, obviously, uh, not getting out on a bunt, and he didn't help himself any on the PFP play. Uh, really, those are two mental mistakes, kind of, by our team that you know that you don't want to make every day. But if you make them on opening day, uh, you know more than anything, our effort was there. Our guys came out and played with good effort, and uh, you know the mental mistakes. Hopefully, we'll clean those up. Well, in high school basketball tonight, we had a big game in two 6As. The Amarillo High Sandys hosting the Coronado Mustangs, the only team to beat Amarillo High in district play so far this season. So a district championship game this evening up in Amarillo. Here in the second, though, Amarillo starting to run away with it. Hunter eights on the breakaway. Sandys led by eight. Sandys feeling it here. Michael Don misses, gets the rebound, takes another one, and drains it. Just that kind of night for Coronado because up until the final seconds of the second quarter, they don't have a point yet until the steal and the lay-in there by David Patton. Their first points of the second quarter, they trailed 32-9 to at the half. They would come out and play much better in the second half, but the hole just too big to dig out of. The Sandys take this game and the District 2-6A title with the 59-38 win over Coronado. Back a little closer to home, the Lakeview Chiefs in Woodrow visiting the Cooper Pirates on senior night. Here in the first, Ryan Chaney on the left wing pulls up from behind the arc, knocks down the three, even up the score. But on the other end, A.J. Perez answers. He gets this one in the corner there, knocks down a three ball of his own Pirates. Back out in front by three. Chaney would keep Lakeview in it by himself here, though. The miss collecting the rebound and putting it back in. He cuts the Pirate lead to just one. But the finish here in the first quarter, Brett Carlton to come up with the turnover, pushes it ahead to Perez. The acrobatic reverse lay-in right there. A great play there for Cooper. They have a two-point lead after one as the Pirates take care of Lakeview tonight by a final of 62-54. to well, the 11th-ranked Estacado Matadors have rolled through district play with their closest contests in eight-point home win against the Leveland Lobos. Estacado on the road tonight in Leveland, trying to remain unbeaten. Senior night for the Lobos this evening, and Lucas Bontrager here, the three ball from the corner. He has got it, and he is fired up. Timeout Matadors, an 8-0 run to start for Leveland. Now Zach Harris for Estacado battling back here. Knocks down the three ball there to cut Estacado's deficit to 10. Now Jesse Johns, another three ball. Estacado back within seven. So the Mats again start slow, but they win this one in the end. A close ball game. They survive on the road with a 72-69 win over Leveland. Out in Abilene tonight, the Lubbock High Westerners fighting for a playoff spot still. Here's a steal by Jose Villabos, takes it in himself. He was unconscious in the first quarter. 20 of Lubbock High's 22 first quarter points. In the second, that's Miles Royal, gets it to Devin Doolittle, gets the short shot to fall and the foul. Cooper down by three at that point, but Lubbock High responds by who else? Villabos there gets another Westerner bucket to tie it up at 28 as Lubbock High returns the favor after a close loss earlier this year. They hang on for a one-point win down there on the road in Abilene. 
you know, it always feels good. Those close losses are no tough, kidding. and for uh, Lubbock High to go down there and get a big one, that was a good win That's for them. That's a good win, yeah. definitely. All right, Matt, thanks so much. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.